Hey guys, Anne-Marie, owner of the Soul Awakening Academy, training you the next generation of spiritual life coaches and energy healers. So I'm going to show you in this video or, or teach you in this video how to spot a client's uh, pattern of behavior. So patterns of behavior are those subconscious programmings that have been drilled into the person or conditioned into the person, programmed into the person, however you like to call it, that are on repeat. So they seem to be stuck. It's like, um, I don't know, they're, they're just caught on this hamster wheel and in this same pattern of behavior. Underneath that pattern of behavior is an underlying limiting belief. So limiting beliefs are formed from our early experiences or from an, any experience at any age. A belief is something that we believe to be true. We, we believe it. There's, there's no going against it. That can happen pretty much at any age. But we're, we're said to be the person we are when, when we get to the age of seven because we've kind of absorbed the whole of the environment around us and we've been conditioning conditioned into certain belief patterns um cultural beliefs religious beliefs societal beliefs through our parents and caregivers and those beliefs can be around us who we are as a person so it can be a personal belief or it can be a, a belief a universal belief a belief about how others are how the world is where you fit into that world what's safe and what what is not safe and also our experiences stack up and add weight and magnetize our limiting beliefs. So if we believe something and we have an experience and we can attach those two together to say that that experience meant and that confirms the belief, that's actually how we as adults create our own reality. It's because we filter down all the information that's bombarded into us every day we filter it down so it fits into our paradigm of our belief system so we all experience the same reality in different ways and the reason that is is because we all have different belief systems so you'll recognize a client stuck in a pattern of behavior when they have a major theme that runs through their life it might be that they keep um, having the same relationship problems or they feel the same way into in a work situation so people might feel bullied all the time they leave the job they go somewhere else the same kind of thing happens again they meet a partner um, the same thing can happen again you know it but a different set of circumstances so they're stuck in a pattern of behavior so how do you help them out of that? Well, first of all, it's about recognizing the pattern of behavior and why that came to be. There are techniques that I teach on the soul awakening method as I train spiritual life coaches. And one of the techniques is called uh, Inner Scripts by a spiritual teacher called Barbara Mule. And she has something called a book. That you can't, I don't think you can get hold of it now. Um, Script Kid and Fantasy Land. There is an amazing website out there, leela.org. And it has a, a, a PDF on the Script Kid and Fantasy Land. And she says that in adult relationships now, we have a little kid playing out in our psyche. And it's the little kid that shows up in our relationships in our work situations, in our family, amongst our friends, in any, in any you know, situation that can trigger us or is meaningful to us, our inner child, or as she calls it, our kid, plays out. And the scripts part of it is literally, as she calls it, that we are playing a part in, our, in a play. So the script part of us plays out this character that was, let's say, the uh, abandoned child because of an early experience. That's a belief system they formed. It's a pain. It's a trauma. They've kept hold of it in the system. But when it's in the system, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't have an opportunity to express itself because we don't have that language as a child. 
So we stay shut. And as a child, the only thing that we can do is internalize a situation. We don't have the vocabulary to share our thoughts, feelings, emotions in the moment. So we lock them away and we think that that situation meant something about the person that we are because as children, we believe the whole world revolves around us. So anything happens, dad leaves, mum leaves, I don't know, dog dies. <laughs> it, we internalize it, you know, dad left, which meant I wasn't, I'm not worth sticking around for. And we can grow up with that unhealed part of us seeking to be healed in relationships. But that part of us has a belief system and that belief system has to prove itself right because until you do this work on yourself, you're totally unaware that that is even happening. It's so subconscious but it is the thing that's running your life. And what I've come to believe is we seek to heal these parts of ourselves by going into situations that we think will fill the void. But what we do, we keep sabotaging those situations because of this belief system that has to keep proving it's goddamn right. So if it has to keep proving it's right, you will hand your script, your inner script, your inner belief system, I'm not good enough to stick around for, or whatever it is, and you hand it out to these people that you meet, these relationships that you have, and you force them into a situation very unconsciously where they have to feed back your belief system to you so you can prove yourself right, so that they leave, and then you say to yourself, this always happens to me, people always leave me therefore and there's a belief statement underneath that the fantasy is that something magnificent is going to come along and change your situation for you like the man on the white horse is going to come along sweep you off your feet and you don't need to worry about meeting any other silly boy ever again it's all their fault it's not yours and it's just that it's not the right guy for you and a man on a white shiny horse is going to come and fix it all for you that's the fantasy part that's still the inner you know that's still the kid part whatever the fantasy was maybe if dad left you you had a fantasy that someone was going to come in your life and rescue you and tell you you were mm. an amazing girl and you know it was you're amazing and or whatever you know it is that you created a fantasy around but you've got to delve deep and do this work on yourself this is the work that we do with clients because I like to go deep with clients if any if a client ever approaches me and I get a lot of clients who are CEOs professional footballers uh, you know directors accountants these are professional people I always tell them I'm a different type of coach and I go deep. I don't surface stuff, goal setting, weight loss, not for me. I want to know what your deepest emotional wound is and I want to help you move forward with that because it's that that is holding you back and nothing else. So have a look at the work of Barbara Mule or go to leela.org. Um, I'll put the link in this video. Well, the the comments bit and you can check it out and maybe start using this with your clients so it's really important that you think about what is the person's inner script has this been a recurring theme for them do some inner script work which is another part of what we do to find out what the inner script is and do some work around that it's possible to change it it's just it's habitual you can everybody can change a habit if they really want to so hope this helped guys